Hello, my fellow bookish people of all sorts. I come today with a NaNoWriMo check-in. I am. This is November the 15th, and it is the midway point in NaNoWriMo, where National Novel Writing Month, where we, us few, us lucky few, try and try, do, will, uh, write uh, 50,000 words, at least 50,000 words, in the month of November. Uh, and it's been, uh, word-wise, it has been going quite well for me. Uh, I am at uh, 30,000, uh, 311 words, uh, which, you know, um, most likely I'm going to try and keep that pace up, so I'll probably go 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 over the uh the 50,000 mark um you know um I kind of caution everybody because like I think someone could write 10,000 really great words that they get published and that would be a lot more of a success than someone like myself who you know if I write 60,000 words that's great if I never show them to anyone if I never publish if I never edit if I just kind of toss it aside I'm you know I'm of the the mind that that's not going to be much of a success so it's good. It's good. This is a really great NaNoWriMo is a great thing to give us, give you that push to actually like get a first draft done. Uh, I've succeeded in that before. So that's not really a big thing to me. The big thing to me is going to be, uh, sticking, sticking with those words past the end of the month and, uh, you know, coming up with some, coming, coming up with, um, a more finished product that I can, I, I, a product, uh, with a, manuscript that I can, I can, I don't know if I, I particularly am interested in actually doing the whole, um, submitting and publishing thing. I may just kind of stick it together as an ebook and bury it somewhere in the internet, but it would be a completed ebook buried somewhere in the, in the, in the, in the giant, giant haystack of the internet. I would, that would be my next, that would be my next, uh, very humble, I don't know, humble, my very self-negating <laughs> goals of things. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, this, um, if you want to get into my real neuroses, you can, we can go into my, my writing neuroses. So yes, I've been writing away, uh, you know, the, the stats on NaNoWriMo, I'm going to share them with you because uh, frustratingly, I can seem like with my buddies, the fun thing with the buddies was to get to look at their stats on NaNoWriMo. And for some reason, I can seem to only get like word count day to day, but I can't see like stats. So I've done 15 days straight. Uh, I'm averaging at least at this part of the day, uh, might be a little bit higher of uh, 2,020 words a day. Um, if you look at my little, my graph, these are all the graphs that I cannot see in other people's profiles, which is really annoys me. I, 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 for some reason, this is my number geek thing. This is a part of the fun bit of NaNoWriMo and that seems to have gotten blocked. I can only just see the word count. Uh, I've, my lowest day was 1,120 words. Uh, though my neck, my highest day is the one right after that. So it may just be an update thing. And that was 2,905 words a day. Um, at this point, the website says, you know, if I continue along as I do and there's no catastrophes or I just don't have a complete blah day, I will be done on November the 25th. You know, that's if I, I, I continue, if the first 15 days are any indication of what the next uh, 15 days are. I am lucky. I am a Canadian. Thanksgiving was a while ago for us. Suck it, you Americans. Sorry, sorry. Um, you know. And of these 15 days, there's been some days that have been very draggy that it's like, oh, I do not want to write today. Funnily enough, I find once I just get in front of the keyboard and I start typing, those days sort of even out and are as good as the days where I'm like, oh, I get to them. And then there's been some days like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, it actually has been really good. I have my little condensed three-page outline here, and I'm about halfway through my three-page uh, condensed outline that I, I worked so hard in uh, October to to uh, generate, and that's been, that's been a real, um, for me, a real godsend of just being able to do consistently put in the words a day. Um, I found at the very beginning, I suddenly had a whole bunch of backstory that I had to write. I felt compelled to write in the story. Uh, I've just come up to a part right now where I kind of pulled out what probably would have been a major digression that I suddenly I got to and went, oh, that would be a major digression. And so I just tossed it. 
uh, and so I kind of skipped through that. So there's not that isn't there. I guess if <laughs> if for some reason I get to the very end of the end of the month and it's like, oh crap, I I don't I don't have an, any more outline to write. I could always go back and do that digression just you know just for the fun of it because I think at that point I don't I, w- I don't want to get into editing until either sometime in the next month is my. I think is my plan. We'll, we'll talk about that at some other point. Um, other, other than that, uh, you know, I work, I work five days a week. I find weekends hard <laughs> because I don't have the structure of crap. I have to go to work at three. So I need to get my words in. I'm not having that pressure. Uh, having just a complete open day uh, for me is, is bad news. And I've had to really kind of put myself of, okay, get up first thing in the morning, get a hunk of words done because if I don't, then I found it very hard to get my words done for the thing. I, I managed to, but that was tough. Um, and uh, oh, I I want to I want to I want to end off with 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 NaNoWriMo in history, history, history. Well, actually, it's not NaNoWriMo in history. I just did a review of Cousin Bet, which I'm not the one to recommend to you. Um, other uh, other uh, other readers that I respect would be I would. Uh, Brian at Bookish uh, review of this book. Uh, I, I'll link down below too. I can link down my own. Well, you can find my own video. You probably found it. He likes this book a lot more than I didn't. Um, but the thing about this book, as I was kind of doing my, my Wikipedia scholarship, is that uh, this 400 and something page book, uh, which is uh, 156,015 words long, uh, Balzac wrote in two months. So he wrote it in two months. So we're talking like 61, 62 days. Um, he basically averaged about I, I, me doing my doing doing my 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 pathetic math of of uh, of the total number of words divided by sixty one. He did two thousand five hundred and fifty eight words a day. Now the only problem with that, of course, is he didn't do that and then edit and revise and edit and revise for the next six months after that. No, this was published serially to begin with. Uh, he sent it off in chunks to the newspaper without doing a revision process. Now, the one, the the, the, the manuscript I have here may have been re- revised after that. But yeah, he chunked out 2,558 words a day on average and then published it to great acclaim. Uh not something I recommend to uh, us nano uh, um little you know little dolts out there, uh, people who are just you know just starting off. I am going to be revising whatever I've done for a good long time, probably rewriting, and we'll see if any of the words that I've written this month actually survive. It's 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 that I, I'm considering what I'm re- writing probably is the foundation for whatever actual structure that hopefully. Hopefully, ram shackle little little one sh- one one story shack that I actually uh, come up with at the final very long end of the process. But yes, not only do I not like the book, but Balzac wrote it way quicker than I could one draft and published it to acclaim. So uh, another reason why I really don't like Cousin Bet. <laughs> Curse you, Balzac. Okay. Um. That's I think that's about all I have to say. Um, um, the I've seen a couple of other people's kind of mid mid month updates. Uh, Jason Holder and uh, Rainy Day Reads. I'll link down below to theirs. It sounds like their projects are going well. Um, ne- neither of them sound like they're you know they're they haven't you know this is not me. Okay, this is not me. They they sound like actually they sound more positive. Uh, probably probably more short footed on their projects, which have a much lower word count than mine. Um, if I could write slower and do better, I would, but I seem to just, I write at this speed, this is what I get, and then I'm going to deal with what I get. I, you know, that'll be my first draft, and I'll deal with that at the end. Um, so yes, uh, definitely, I'll put links down below to their to their uh, their check-ins, awesome stuff. Uh, and uh, Mark at uh, Richardson Reads has definitely been uh, doing some good good updates on on his stuff. He did a little vlog a while ago. I am just going to film this and then I will check in again at the end of the month with whatever uh, pearls of wisdom or, 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 or all my, <laughs> my neuroses at the end. All right. More videos later.